Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Timu haul. That's correct. Are you guys addicted to Timu as much as I am? I'm absolutely loving Timu. If you're not familiar with it, I will share links in the description box down below and also in a pinned comment. And without further ado, let me share with you what I got. Now, if you're new to Timu or if you haven't really um, taken the time to kind of really dive into the website, they offer so many different things, okay? Like so many. And the one thing that I was super excited about is if you put in Montessori toys, it will bring up to you different, more educational toys. Um, and you guys know that I have three grandchildren, so I did pick up an item for each of them in this haul. The first one that I want to share with you, I actually got for my grandson. He just turned a year old um, on Wednesday last week. And this is one of the things that I got for him that's considered a Montessori toy because it helps them practice hand-eye coordination. And so you take the carrots and then you put them, like you plant them into the planter, if you will. And they're supposed to learn, you know, like I said, hand-eye coordination. So let me just remove these so that I can show you how it would look once they're all in there. Also, I'm just saying, you can type in also Melissa and Doug. And if you type in Melissa and Doug, they will pop up a whole bunch of different like educational toys as well um, that's similar to the Melissa and Doug or it could actually be the Melissa and Doug items. Um, this one too is available in different amounts. Like there's like a, I think a six, an eight, and then this one that I picked up, which is the biggest one. So please know that when you go onto the website, sometimes the prices that they're giving you is for the smallest of the item that they're displaying. But this is what it looks like once they're all into place. And basically they just remove and put in place, remove and put in place. And they're all very soft. The, the leaves are made of felt. And this is a cushion as well. As you can see, it's put on there. And there it is. It's the little radishes. I think that's what it was, radishes. So that is for my grandson <clears throat> that just turned one. Now, the next item that I picked up is actually for my granddaughter. And this is an afternoon tea set. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Know that I keep it, keep it real. K keep it real. This is the way the box arrived. Okay. So if I was going to be giving this as a gift... I mean, I am giving it as a gift, but like, it's not like for a special occasion. Um, it's just going to be a just because. So the box isn't that big of a deal. However, if you had bought this to give us a gift, like for a birthday party or whatever, I mean, the presentation, it's kind of rough. I don't know if, here's what the little tray looks like. I don't know if, if you would take the pieces out. Yeah, the, the pieces are all in this bag right here. So you could take the pieces out and then kind of manipulate the box kind of back into shape. Um, and then put everything back in. And let's see. These are the wood pieces that you get. And I don't, I, again, I don't want to take it out or unwrap it or any of that. Because even though it is for my granddaughter and not like for a niece, nephew, whatever. I still want the presentation to be nice when I give it to her. So that's sort of fixed it a little bit, taking it out and just like readjusting, but it's kind of wanting to fall right back into place. Unfortunately, for the shipping to be free, for them to ship to us, and then of course, if there's something wrong with one of our products and we need to do like a refund or an exchange or whatever the case may be, the fact that they're put in these bags, unfortunately, sometimes things do get squished. I'm okay with that though because of the fact that I just don't want things to be broken. I'm okay with that because if it keeps shipping free to and from, then I'm on board. Um, if they would charge $7.95 to ship it to me and then it arrived like this, then I would have a complaint, okay? So 
just try to keep that in mind that sometimes things will come squished. As long as they're not broke, try to just look the other way because zero shipping means what? Zero complaining. That's right. Next up, I got not one, not two, not three, but five of the sponges. And I like these because they have the um, rough side where you can really get to scrubbing and then they've got the soft side. And these... I mean, let's face it, With I don't know about you all, but me with my sponges, they're good for about a week, maybe three, four days, and then they go in the garbage. So this is a good way just to have plenty on hand to recycle and keep it moving. Next up, to this day, I have not found these at Dollar Tree. I know a lot of you have found them, and if you did, I'm excited that you were able to find them. These are the expanding baskets that have the hooks that you can put into your refrigerator or you can even use this in a cabinet if you want it does not have to necessarily be for just um, the refrigerator but it'll hook on like that and then you've got extra space and I actually got two of those super excited about these because again I never found them at Dollar Tree am I still looking absolutely are we not always on the hunt for something that we're missing out on yes so <coughs> super excited about that um i think the ones at dollar tree are a clear plastic more like an acrylic but it's of course it's faux acrylic right because acrylic is expensive um whereas these are more of the hard kind of plastic so to me i'm just putting it out there that i think that these would be more durable because the clear plastic i mean they do kind they tend to crack and break easily but if they're made out of the same material as like your actual refrigerator doors, then they should be okay. I don't know. If anybody's got them, let me know in the comment section down below which ones you prefer more. So there's that. Now, for my oldest grandson, he loves magnets. He loves anything that he can stack or move or maneuver or put in a certain order. And then he wants it to stay in that certain order unless he actually moves it. This is part of the Montessori collection as well. They had these refrigerator magnets, or that's how they listed them, but they're magnets. You get 10 of them. Now, the price was a bit high, but I felt that for the quality of the magnets that it was worth it. So you get like the fox, the hippopotamus, the raccoon, the tiger, a fox that's sleeping. Hold on. An owl. A little baba sheep. A little bunny rabbit. A little teddy bear. And a little hedgehog. And they're not chintzy like they actually are really really good quality they're like very nicely made so i picked up this set for him um i'm trying to think if when i looked in there if i saw any other magnets i think there was some other ones but they were more like like the numbers and the letters and there was not a lot to choose from that actually had like a design to them the way these had so I got these for him, and again, everything that I'm sharing with you will be um, linked in the description box down below, and also any links or, um, what's the word I want to say, specials that may be going on will also be in the description box and in a pinned comment so that you can click on the link and you can use any um, discount codes that I might share with you all. Now, in my, I think it was in my last haul, or maybe two hauls back I'll try to find the video and if I find the exact one I'll put in an iCard right here so you can check it out I picked up one of these pizza packs and basically in here you have your storage for the pizza and then you've got the little uh, pizza plates you get five of them right here that you can use to put your pizza on and heat it up in the microwave but somebody I forget her name I'm so sorry I should have wrote it down before I started this video she actually said those pizza plates 
can also be used to divide your pizza. So like if you have, let's say, meat lovers is three pieces and then pepperoni, it's to separate like the pizza in the storage, like storage unit. Um, but the only reason why I said it's kind of small for a pizza is because it does say that they're microwavable pizza trays. It doesn't say like this is to divide your pizza when you're storing, but that is a great idea or a great tip. I did pick it up in red and I picked it up in the green. This one did not have a label or anything on it. I'm not sure why. Um, so the one that you see here, I picked up for myself. I absolutely loved it. I told you guys that if I loved it and it worked, that I would pick up for my daughters, the two that do not live here in the house with me. So these are for each one of my daughters so they can have at their house because they usually do more of the pizza orders than I do. So that's always good to have. Next up, Wildfire, as you know, you've seen her here on the channel in my videos, whether it's her voice or actually her. Um, if you have not seen the video we did together just recently with the Try Treats box, I'll put in an iCard right here so you can check it out. She told me, I need pots and pans. And I was like, then get pots and pans. She was like, no, I need for you to get me pots and pans. And I said, dude, the pots and pans you have, are, I did get for you. And she goes, I know, but I need more. So I happened to see these on Timu. I thought they were very pretty. I just really like them. I hope that she likes them. This is 12 pieces that you receive. And it looks like this. Now, is she going to use the tea kettle? Probably not, but if she needs to heat up water really fast, a tea kettle is a great thing to have because it heats up water lickety split. So, normally I'm sure, you know, I would say, or people would say, I'm not gonna open this and take every piece out to show you, uh, but since I'm trying to sell you on Timu, win you over, Come on over to the dark side with us <laughs> for all of us that are addicted to Timu. I am going to take this out of the box and actually share with, with you all what it looks like. Now, this is not like an item that you would buy here, so to speak, that it's like has tons of this to protect it. This is just a very thin sheet, as you can see, that was in there. So they are kind of like all over the place. Um... They do need to be put together as well, like they need the handles added to them, but I'm just gonna share with you the quality. So, it's got the pressure release valve here. Here's where your um, handles are gonna go, okay? I'm not gonna put it together for y'all right now, but I will, um, I do wanna show you what they look like so that if you decide you wanna order it, I want you to know exactly what you're getting. So. This is the little saucepan, and as you can see, it's got these beautiful gold handles, and they are extremely lightweight. So if you're getting these thinking, oh, these are going to be heavy duty, they're actually not. Look, this is what they look like from the bottom. And this one happens to have all the hardware and the utent, what is it called, and the knobs. Oh yeah, these are very lightweight. Will they do the job? Yes, they are very lightweight. And I'm gonna say another thing about these. You definitely can't leave the, these pots unattended while they're cooking, because these are so thin. It could actually probably, you'd probably end up scorching and burning your food. She might not even like these, to be honest with you. I'm gonna ask her. If she wants them, they're hers. If she doesn't, I totally understand. Let me show you the teapot. Okay, there's your handle and it's also got the whistle. This, this part, this gold part is a whistle. So when it's ready, it's gonna be like There's the biggest of the saucepans. You have to remember, coming from Timu, they're gonna be smaller in size because they don't eat the way we eat here. So just keep that in mind also. And then, that almost sounded broke, but it's not. And then here is the frying pan. Not very big, but there is some dimension to it width-wise. So I guess you could use that to fry a couple of chicken tenders or chicken nuggies in it. And 
So I was super excited to get those for her again. If for whatever reason she's like, mm -mm, no, I will, I will keep them, not a big deal. But if she likes them, then guess what? She's now taken care of. I'm gonna throw this away because I don't think it needs to be in there just to go from my house to her house. So I'm just gonna get rid of that altogether. Now I have for you all, okay, are y'all ready? I gave you a sneak peek of this item in a video and I'll put it in an iCard right here so you can go check it out. And the reason why I want you to go check it out is because I'm gonna tell you the story of how that all went down, okay? Okay. When I ordered this item, okay, I typed in roast pan, roast pan. And this is what popped up, okay? And this is exactly what I saw in the picture, okay? This exact thing. And I was like, that's perfect, okay? When it arrived, it was in a box by itself, okay? And you could see like where the top of it was almost like punctured through because this was at the top. And I was like, let me unpack that and check it because I'm concerned that maybe it's damaged, right? So I took it out right away. It looked great. I went and put it in my office. I had it there on the side. And then I didn't think anything of it, okay? I just had it sitting there. And I had it sitting to where if I sat down at my desk, this is the part that I saw, okay? So it's sitting like this on my desk. When I tell you guys, oh, I have a sneak peek of an upcoming Timu haul that I'm going to share with you guys, so stay tuned. When I picked it up, it's sitting on my desk like this, I show you all this. And as I show you all this, I catch a glimpse of this where it says roast. If you watch that video, you will see my face totally changes in the video from a like, oh, I'm showing y'all sneak peek to like, wait, what? And then when I put the roasting pan back down, I get this smile on my face and my face turns beet red because I'm thinking, holy moly, did I just pick up a Ray Dunn dupe? And I'm super thrilled about it because as you can see, when you see the writing roast, that's like Ray Dunn, right? We all know her. We all love her. We all love her stuff, right? So I'm super thrilled that I've got this Ray Dunn dupe in my hands. So much so that I then call my cousin Anna on FaceTime and I'm like, look at what I got. And I show her. And as I'm showing her, she's like, no way. And I'm like, dude, a Ray Dunn dupe. And she's like, no way. And I'm like, yes way, right? And as I'm showing her on FaceTime, something, I don't know how I did it, but I like, turned the pot a certain way and wait for it. My face totally changes on the FaceTime with her too because I spot it as I'm showing her in the camera that it says Ray Dunn. Say what? What? Peas de resistance, creme de la creme, mwah, mwah, mwah. What? Ray Dunn. I just bought it because I fell in love with the gray speckled look of it all. And again, on the advertisements, they just show this. Oh, sorry. They just show this. It does not show you that it says roast. It does not say, does not show you the bottom where it says Ray Dunn. It shows none of that. And it's available in two colors, by the way. So you best believe that the minute I saw that it was Ray Dunn, I went and ordered the other color. One of the colors is sold out. I think the red one is sold out. Here's the lid. Look, it's got this really secure tape all around it to keep it from being scratched up. You also get the, what's it called? Well, you guys know what it's called. Do you see that? 
Ray Dunn. So either this is actual Ray Dunn, the real deal, or this is one heck of a major score of a dupe. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's like I tell you guys all the time. Buy for less. Save the rest. You know that if you went out to the brick and mortar stores, you're going to pay more than what I paid on Timu. I just took out the middleman. And I'm super excited about this. And I cannot wait for turkey time because... The turkey is going to go in here or the ham or definitely my roast when it's time to cook my next pot roast. I'm so excited about this piece. You just don't even understand. And what's so funny as I was on the phone with my cousin, I said, I'm going to go ahead and hang up with you. I said, do me a favor. I said, go through the reviews because I didn't read them. I said, see if anybody says anything about it being Ray Dunn. And she was like, you didn't see in the description that it said roast. And I said, if I remember correctly, I said, I didn't look at all the pictures. I said, but if I remember correctly, I didn't see that it said roast. So sure enough, she went in there, called me back, and she's like, nowhere on there does it show a picture of where it says roast on the front of it. And nowhere on there, even in the description box, does anybody mention anything about Ray Dunn. People don't even know? Anyway, this, my favorite out of everything. I loved everything that I got. But this Ray Dunn roasting pan, turkey pan, whatever you want to call it, top notch right there. So I hope, hope that you enjoyed this Timu haul. I will be coming back with more Timu for you all. Also, all of my other regular hauls that I do, chit chat videos and all that good stuff. So make sure that you're staying tuned to the channel. Could you, would you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member, we'd love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button right there down below. Hit the bell next to it for notifications as to when I upload a new video. You all don't miss out on any of the fun. Make sure you check out my links and any discount codes that I share in the description box and in a pinned comment. Know that I appreciate each and every one of you who click on those links. Um, it gets me recognized over at Timu so that maybe they'll want to work with me again in the future. And with that being said, I appreciate and love each and every one of you. And for now, goodbye from Texas.